Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. I can remember when I have Aiden. Just like with the rest, it's as if the memory of him was there all along. The memory that went like we captured and brainwashed him into being our butler. Which apparently was my idea. But I never really got along with anyone in this place, let alone have them go along with my ideas. The oldest memory I have is of lo locking myself in the laboratory for three days terrified of the workers. What the fish is happening with the achievements here? Yeah, this fucking supposed by pisses him. Hey, everyone. Oh, no. Today's episode is a special. Meet our special guest, Henrietta Warhol. Uh, my deepest apologies. We're stopping the broadcast. This shit show ends now. Understandable. Also, how? Huh? Mm? Huh? 6646 until the trial. <sighs> and what are you doing? Oh, um, oh. Hey, I bought tickets to the new trailer. Abby. Gross. That's better. I bet the movie sucks. Yeah, it should be hilarious. Roasting Central Time. Always up for some roasting. Right? Now, you're the one being girls. Meet me in front of the theater at 4 p.m. We'll visit the photo booth now, too. Two photos. Got it. The movie was actually pretty good. I can't believe you like that. It was a train wreck at best. You just liked the Roman subplot, didn't you? Hell no. Bingo. Jeez. By the way, I've heard that there's a cafe that got super popular with couples. We're going there, right? Sure. Anywhere you'd like. You're doing it so that you brag about it to your friends, aren't you? Welcome to Mademoiselle Cafe. We have special offers for couples. And we'll gladly take up on one. Right. Yeah, you are the mint tea and two parfaits. Hmm, looks delicious. A chain goes to Fon's father. Are you going to eat it at all? Sure, sure. What filter should I unreuse? I'm digging in. Please don't start eating without me. Henry hits my forehead with the side of her head. Ow! Aren't couples supposed to be affectionate? As long as you don't act like a prick. Yeah, yeah, alright. He's just using me to man maintain our social status. I briefly wonder how is how is it not obvious to her that nobody really cares? Yet I enjoy our time together. Even though I know our play pretend relationship will shatter as soon as high school ends. And we throw away each other like used napkins. Put up the PC. Oh no. Okay, no more pills left. Finding that worthless fanfic again. Ah, it's not a fanfic and it's not worthless Scarlet. It's illogical and pointless. You aren't even sure where you're taking the plot. Are you basically taking now about the, about the story about this in this game? Because now it's, it's, getting, it's getting ridiculous. Moreover, the cast is boring and repetitive. Manistic main character. Who's mentally disabled, anyway? Huh? Hey, don't insult my daughter. There's no concept of free will in this story to begin with. All the characters are controlled by their parasite. It's just you making up excuses for a failure of coherent storytelling. <sighs> You're so annoying for a tulpa. Listen, even C complimented me. Just being polite. And you know it. Charles, you're losing focus. You'll never pass the entrance exams if you keep doing unnecessary things like these. Hey, are you giving up? 
Don't you want to become a doctor for mother's sake? Yes. Yes, I do. Very well. How close that now close that program. Do the cleaning and stop studying for your tests. You know what will happen if you don't. Fine, fine, I know. Oh, a message from the sea. He's been acting weirdly lately, so give me five minutes, will you? Uh huh. Five minutes only. I'm counting. I'll be leaving to the heavenly kingdom soon. So my blood go cold. Are you sure? Yes, it's my final decision. I see. I'm sorry. I can't find the words to say. It's understandable. I'm sorry for burdening you like this. Are you scared? If you are, I will be there for you. I'm your number one fan, remember? Two minutes left. Hold it, it's urgent. Will you really come? I will, trust me. It will be the first and the last time we meet in person, huh? Looks like it. I'm sorry. Don't be pet pet. Thank you. For understanding, it means a lot. Don't mention it. Have a good night's sleep, if you're open. Good night, Charlotte. Wait. Charlotte presses the off button. Hey, time's up. Open your textbooks. This isn't the time for it. See, he, he's going to... Oh, God. He's going to die. You'll live on the third floor. I wonder how long it will take for you to recover after the fall. You wouldn't dare. Oh, but would I? You haven't even seen him in person. You have no clue what this person is like. Shut up. I'm not listening to you anymore. Ah, <sighs> You never learn, huh? That uh, drags me to the window. Her, her grip is strong. How? You said I had hallucination. How the... Apologies. Apologize right now. And do what you're told. I'm counting to ten. One, two, three. Before now, I won't be able to see him. Four, five... Six. I have to see him. I have to follow the schedule. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I won't do this again. Please let me meet him. Good, now go and do what you're told. Don't worry about a thing. I won't let you become a good for nothing. You'll pass the trial with flying colors. Mm-hmm. I was sorry and arrived meaningless letters. I sat down the wall, breathing heavily. <sighs> that evening, I couldn't study at all. Understandable. Understandable. I need to check up on mother. Mother? The weather is good today. Feel like going for a walk? I'm sorry. I don't feel like getting up. It's okay, you don't have to force yourself. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm fine. It's just that I'm afraid of getting up or doing anything for that matter. Is there a specific reason for it? Not really. I'm just start panicking and suddenly feel tired like never before. I see. Shouldn't the pills help? We're one out of them, remember? I signed up for an appointment, but you know how our healthcare system works. Just a month more to wait. Wish it come came sooner, right? Right. I'm glad you understand. It's okay, mother. I study hard and become a doctor. Then you won't have to worry about anything. Don't push yourself too much, dear. Hmm? Be a good girl, okay? I wake up unable to move my limbs. Um... Oh, you're awake. Huh? Hurts it, hurts it, hurts it, hurts it, hurts it. Well, of course. I stabbed you and threw you out the window. One would expect to have at least a few bones broken. The hide wasn't great enough to kill you anyways. Ayla, what the actual hell? Hey, mind your manners. Well, it kicks my broken neck, causing me to arch my back in pain. Ah! Why are you... 
doing this? Huh. Why is it, I wonder? Maybe it's because I'm sick of you hurting others. Maybe it's because there's no one else left to punish you for your deeds. Oh, really? You're playing horse heroes and villains now? Hey, know your place. If you hurt Miss Wallow, Marhol, ever again, I'll break more than your legs. Oh, so she's the victim now? All right, all right, I'll shut up. But what in the world do you want to achieve by showing me all of this? Don't feel so entitled. This show isn't for you at all. Carla looks at you. You mean you mean you mean me? Hello. Oh, hi, Monica. <laughs> Sorry, Monica. <laughs> but you know. Thank you for your attention. As you may have noticed, I'm aware of your presence in this world. Ah, yeah, thank you. By now, you should be aware that Miss Wolfshire had, has been terrorizing the whole floor for a long time. Yeah. Shut up, Eilor. You don't know anything about this world or the person you're talking to. Just whom are you protecting? A bunch of NPCs whose only line is a laugh track? Huh. <laughs> Shh, you're in no condition to speak. Why don't we beat you back into shape? They scarlet and crushes my head with a bat. With that on, we can have some privacy. You see, I have the most vivid memories of True Realm. Oh, yeah. So by using a link and connecting with Earthshire, I can show you the truth of this world. That's what you're here for, right? Just wait a little more. I'll show you everything. I'll turn to Charlotte's corpse. God, what am I even doing? This makes me no better than Wolfshire herself. But I can't protect anyone if I play by the rules. Well then, I'm going to need this eye. What? I... Whose eye? The, well, Charles? Thank God. Oh my, did the world end? You're happy to see me? Well, yeah, sort of. How did I end up in the infirmary tree? I found you lying unconscious in the garden, so I carried you here. What happened? Nothing much. Isla wants to ruin my show. And she's obsessed with murdering me. Just like everyone in this godforsaken place. Everybody wants to murder you, but you... But the kid, because you're dead, you, you have a lot of of clones to possess. Are you rapid? That's how rapid it goes. If you destroy him, only his body, he just goes to do another body and just goes, hey, yeah, nothing happened. <sighs> Which is always not good because, well, to defeat rapid completely, you have to defeat literally everything. So he has no connection at all. I mean, you can actually just destroy all the of his bodies and all his viruses at at the same time, and then just so you only have one body with one virus. Ding ding! Did you could just just go? But then the problem is that there's another robot coming, and then we have to do the whole spiel again. Which, yeah, it's, it is not a it is not a happy one. Is that so? This is strange. Why? How is she any different from the tulpa that tormented you? Wait, how do you know about that? You was the one who linked with me. We'll talk about this later, okay? Just assume that I know about your past and give me the answer to my question for now. Just how is she any different? You see, this world Scarlet Isler is based on my imaginary construct of her. She's the sister I wanted to have. Not the reflection of my own self that I wanted to disappear. She isn't supposed to be hostile. I can't fathom what could be driving her. Uh, how can you be so sure? I have so many awful memories of her. And you expect her to be reborn as a, as a sane person? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm sick of it. 
I'll just use Mother's power and sort her out myself. Please try to refrain from doing that. I told you about the consequences, didn't I? Once you get your wish granted, your story will end immediately. Yeah, yeah, it's like a one-time use cheat code with hazardous consequences. Don't tell me what to do, okay? Besides, right now I just want to go home and sleep. You need me to come accompany you? Nah, you talk too much. Aww. Plus, it's a new body in a way. I can move properly this time around. Please, remember that you shouldn't abuse this too. Yeah, yeah, take care. I'm home. Aiden? Anyone? Oh well, bad time. Not, t not touching anything. My educational program at school began on Monday. I got laughed at in class. On Tuesday, my back got stolen. On Wednesday, I got dunked into a toilet. Ooh. Thursday, I got assaulted in the changing room. On Friday, I was made to eat dirt. On Saturday, I decided. I will not give in. I will not become a victim. I will not get soaked in ugly colors. I will not become tainted. No matter what it takes, I will stay pure white. This game is going in places. Oh, hello. Huh? I can move a muscle. Do you think it will work? Shh, you're welcome. After this many sedatives. Huh. Human maggots sleeping in like a log. Voices. The wrenches. I have to keep quiet. In all honesty, I don't feel too good about this. I just hope that Uncle's fury is correct. Peace, Mr. Honecker, you're always so sour. If memory cubes can be extracted, two cubes can too, right? That's how it, it was in Fury, at least. I do understand that Uncle wants to discover the secret to immortality, but... The music is good, so relax. It's not the first time we've done this, right? Besides, all she does is break things. Why is she breaking her any different? I need a drink, same. Then, so it is. I take my water, please. You should seriously cut it down on it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on. Don't think like she'll wake up any soon. No way, they gave me time to escape? No, this must be a coincidence. They don't care about me. In that case, I have to get out. I have a bad feeling about this. If I see Buffett and Aiden's gone completely mental, I went to run on. My head's spinning. What kind of truck was that? I can I barely can move a muscle. You. There's an errand I need to get up there. Yes. Good. All right, I'm good to go. Yes. Maybe I should just wait here until the morning comes. What do you mean she is gone? She has to be around somewhere. I know, I know. Jeez, she isn't that good at hiding. As far as I know, let's look around a bit. I run poison gas through the ventilation just in case. Crap, I have to get out of here. I feel good to sleep and weaken my limbs. So you stand for me. Yes.
Oh Jesus. Oh my. So this is where most of my bodies go. Oh, for this, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, if it's, uh, it's a life, but ah, there she is. They're so just corpses, Ben. They're always here. Huh? Are they? Plus, Dr. Huxley wouldn't like it if you touched his experiment material. Ah, it sucks so more. Uh... Okay, it seems, looks like they left, but it may be a trap. I have to be careful with the timing. Can't wait too long, but can't make his decisions. I need to get out. If only I could reach the elevators. I need to get away. Oh, here you are, human maggot. These are. Get it? Somewhere to run. Not in this seat. The uh, workers struck me away. Huh? That was an ending. I can make it quick. Which is my command. Here you are. The next moment I know, Scarlet hits my head with a baseball bat. Ah. Okay, okay. Story continues. Roman is still confused about anything. And uh, yeah, I thought we got through <laughs> Whatever that was. 10.30 a.m. It's a sunny day outside. I greet T with a small hand wave and let out a sigh of relief. Thank God his face isn't distorted. He flinches and his whole body becomes tense. But as soon as he realizes it's me, he loosens up a little. Are you alright? God, what am I even saying? Of course he isn't. Ah, yes, it's nothing. For a second I thought I'm being pranked. Thank you for coming, I really appreciate it. You're my list. I didn't think I could do it alone. Don't mention it. He's shorter than me. For some reason, I always thought he'd be the taller one, but all of us do. Just a flight of stairs. He's completely out of breath. Black P isn't your best subject. Seems like it. Are you disappointed I look like that? No, you don't look like a Lovecraftian nightmare to me. I... God, look at you. The only difference there is between you and your icon are those deep eye bags. And, well, you're a midget. That counts too. It's you who should be disappointed in me, Mr. C. <laughs> you're more of a bit vitriolic than real life. This is the sad reality of online chats. Y'all had all turned out to be Charles. Oops. Bet you wanted to see the girl of your dreams. Mm hmm. I don't think bodies or names are that important. It's you who's standing before me right now, and it's all that matters. In all honesty, I'm only relieved. You're more alike than I initially thought. If you say so. Too bad you don't know Scarlet Island. By the way, may I ask you for your real name? Like, not an online handle? Ah, uh, sure. It's Vincent. Oh, I see. It's nice to meet you, Charles. Likewise. I'm glad I got to meet you in person before you... Uh, an awkward pause falls between us. I wait for an explanation, a crack in his defenses, a breakdown. But none comes. There's only the deafening silence. I have to say something. Anything. May I ask, how did you come up with that? This is the whole universe birth theory. Ah. And gathers himself a little. I thought a lot about it, and concluded that our souls are the source materials for universes. 
confined in our bodies. When a person dies, their soul data gets released and explodes like a Big Bang. Then a new universe is born. It become, can become a hellish place or one alike to paradise, depending on your mind state. That's why there are myths of heaven and hell. There's like a world that consists entirely of you. One could put it that way, yes. Everything that you were inside gains shape and form and life is born. So it's entirely possible that our world is just someone's mind taking shape. Exactly. And I'm not against the possibility that the entirety of our life was scripted in advance. Um. And the cruel gods up, up above would definitely laugh at us well. That would be just the worst, don't you think? <laughs> right, but then the ending to our stories would be already predetermined. Say, what would you do if you become a girl? I'd cleanse this disease-stricken world of all contamination. I don't think I'm cut out for that. Gods are creators. Even when I tried to write my own story, all I did was take your setting and twist it to my liking. I'm not original at all. My writing has too many plot holes and pandering. My story's protagonist is a little girl. Too, everyone and their dog has done it already. When writing villains, I end up falling into cliches like demons and contracts and such. Allow me to argue with you on this matter. I think it's not the originality of an idea, but it's execution that matters the most. It's so easy to dismiss concepts or us overused. And isn't it a wonderful feeling when you accomplish making a sincere story? Moreover, I believe everyone can get better with time. They see himself a web celebrity. <laughs> right. Well done. Vincent looks down. He's barely holding up. I take off my glove and reach out. Oh, The only way of comfort I know. In the corner of my eye, I see him blinking vigorously. Oh. I want to take him away from this awful place somewhere, anywhere. But stop myself. It's not my decision to make. I don't know what he went through, or what his living circumstances are like. Galet Eiler was right. I know nothing about Vincent. All I ever seen was his by blinding icon on the screen. I don't know him at all. Vincent smiles at me. I know what death feels like. White is truly a cruel color. Oh, well, see, see you in the heavenly kingdom, see you, hey Vince, you don't have to do this, why become a god of some unknown place, <clears throat> when you're the god of my world already, don't you know that space is empty, don't you know that nothing exists beyond this world, then it occurs to me, that maybe he doesn't believe in anything, and maybe he made up that story just to convince himself it's going to be okay. And maybe all he wanted was to... Vincent lets go of my hand. Wait. Too late. I lose my balance and lean forward a little. Fear overwhelms me. I feel weak in my knees and stagger back. Falling on the concrete floor, panting heavily. In the end, I let go of his hand. I couldn't follow him anywhere. I live for mother. That's how it should always be. I can't leave this world before she does. That's what I decided for myself a long time ago. Garlet Eyeless sighing. Sighing behind my back. She's muttering something along the lines of Good riddance. Get back here. And you idiot! Didn't I take the pills? Vincent fell. 
I called the ambulance and ran. Ran. Ran away. All ended well. There was nothing to be sad about. 